Here's an ACT-SAT question that sets apart the good scores from the great scores. Let's see if you got what it takes. The list of numbers above has four as its mean, median, and its mode. So the question is, what's the value of XY? Pause the video, see if you can figure it out, and then hit play when you're ready for the solution. So the first thing you need to know is what the heck is the mean, the median, and the mode? The mean is the average. Think if somebody called you really average, wouldn't you be like, hey man, that's pretty mean. That's the way I keep it straight in my head. So the mean is the average. The median is the middle number when they're arranged in order. And then the mode, that's the most common number in the list. Since we were told that the mean, the median, and the mode of our list is four, the easiest thing for me to work with first is that mode. The mode is four. The most common number on the list must be four. So I know for sure, without a doubt, there must be another four on this list. I'm just gonna assume that one's X. Doesn't matter if it's X or Y, but one of the two has to be a four. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna arrange my numbers from least to greatest because that's going to help me think through this other information. So the least number is one, and then we've got two, and then we've got four, and then we've got the new four, because we figured out that X, for example, is four. And then we've got a six, and then we've got a Y. Now, I don't know if Y is bigger than six or less than six, or but I'm just going to write them this way for now, and you'll see why in a second. The next piece of information I want to use is the fact that the median was four. Remember, the median is the middle number when arranged from least to greatest in a list. So the middle number would be somewhere right here in between these two fours. Quick tip, when you have an even number of items in your list, the median isn't actually in your list. It's in between the middle two numbers of your list. So in our case, the median here is four. It'd be in between these two. I guess that doesn't really help because we already knew that one of the numbers was four. We found that that was the X. We still don't know that other missing number. So we've used the mode. We've used the median. Let's go on to the mean. Well, the mean is the average. And you're thinking, I add them all up and I divide by how many and that's the mean. Yes, this is true. You can think of this as a formula. The mean is the total of of everything divided by how many things there are. And so if we've been told that the mean is four, we could replace that in the formula with a four. And we know there's six items in our list, so the denominator of this formula has to be a six. Well then, if I use t as a variable to represent the total of all my numbers, I've got a really simple equation that I can solve. I can multiply the six over, and then I get that the total, t, is equal to 24. What that means is the total of all my numbers here must be 24. Well, that's going to help me find y. Two plus four is six, plus another Another six is 12, plus one is 13, plus four is 17, plus y. Well, that means y has to be seven to get me up to that total of 24. So now we've discovered the missing number must have been seven. And now we found both x and y. x was four, y was seven. Well, the question at the end asks us, what's the value of x, y, meaning x times y? So our answer here is d, 28. If you like learning test prep tricks like this one, make sure you hit the like or subscribe button so that you get notified when we post more great content. We'll see you next time.